Poor old Kev, steady. steady Poor old now. Kev's thinking they were uh, City fans. I can only hope that they're from the blue side and that they took the beating they deserve. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that. Three bin dippers and on it, their way back to yeah, Manchester. If, if they're red though, if they're United fans, are going to have a word with them. There's a bit out of order, that. And uh, Brett sticking in all those kicks on him. But if they're, if they're blues, I'm going to buy them the champagne. All jokes aside, superb. And fair play to the Manchester lads coming all the way down. Four hours drive today to get here. It's what makes great shows, being part of great shows. And they'll be invited back, obviously. Great entrance tune. Gentlemen, this one, three rounds of fighting at 60 kilograms. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man brings with him into the cage a record of five wins, two losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 60 kilograms. Fighting out of MMA Max, here is James Fury Frigo. So another K1 at 60 kilos, three times three minute rounds. James Freeguard in the blue corner. This man brings with him into the cage a record of five wins, one Moab loss, Durham one draw. In the he red stands corner. Five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in 60 kilograms. Fighting out of Lookbro in Southampton. Make some noise for Little Mo Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman in the red. Freeguard in the blue. K1. Referee calls him in. This is the final fight on what's called the undercard, but I've got to say, on many a normal show, you'd be more than happy with your money's worth, which you've got here as a card. I mean, when you think this is the undercard, wow. And this is the final fight on the so-called undercard. Before we go into the main card, been a great night's fight so more so far. Sorry. Durman's been caught with about four left hooks, which should send warning signals, regardless of the fact that he's and took all of them. There's five and he's took them all, but you can't. You've only, keep, got, you you just, only got to take the one exactly, you don't see. Exactly. Although that said, he lands a good knee. But when you get caught with five in the space of half a round, you really got to wake up and learn that that's the shot you need to start defending. Looking tidy now, though. Looking to get on top. Great kicks. Low kicks, high kicks. Good shot, though. Great vary there. Great variance. This is swapped a hell of a first round. He swapped from the bottom to the top, now to the middle. Moab Durman is uh, definitely a legs man. And Freeman's the kick, uh, the puncher. His corner are telling him to get moving, James Freeman. Don't stand there with those kicks. Great right hand. He's taking them, though. He's taking these punches. Hell of a first round. Non-stop action, right from the bell. 
The variety in his kicks from uh, Moa Burman is superb. Top to bottom to middle. Can't do this for three rounds, surely. Oh, took a big hand. right there. Caught him in a Another shot, one. stunned him, he big stunned knee. him. Oh, it comes back. I tell you what, if you get three rounds of this, it'd be a miracle. Both look fit, lads, so to be fair. So we... Great oh, left hook again. Left hook. Body shots. James Freeman's good with his hands, really good. Oh, I caught him at a great shot there. Off balance, I think, more so. Last oh, two nice seconds. body shots there. Of a hell of a first round. Great body shot. Bit low, a little bit low. Referee lets it ride. Oh, what a first what round a that first was. Round, a hell of a first round. So we get ready for round two after what was one of the highest paced first rounds I've seen in anything, any kind of mixed martial arts, K1, boxing, anything. It was a hell of a round. And it started off the second exactly the same. Well, they've certainly gone off at a rate of knots again. Great uppercut, good kick, caught a kick. Good work by Freeman. Working a little bit harder, great kick though by Abdurman. The pair of them are absolutely going hammer and tong. Freeman, the slightly busier one. Great left hook, followed by a right hand over the top. Doesn't seem to bother him though. Abdurman is is definitely got a good chin on him. Freeman again, most definitely the better with her hands. Really strong with her hands, but being this close to someone looking at them, they seem to be just bouncing off of Durman. To be fair, I think James is moving. He's you know he's they've both taken a lot of shots, so say James is winning this fight. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. And I think Abdurman's definitely got the potential to, to do a lot more than he is doing this round, that's for sure. Freeman's took it to him and he's, he's ahead in this fight for me now. That's a great shot again. Digging him in, but the shot seems to just bounce off him. Good shots, great shots, good range. Bit of a low kick, looked like good uppercut. Oh, though, but lovely a good uppercut. Knee. Gum shields out. James is in trouble. Gum shields out. Time called by the referee, and he's knocked his tooth out. His tooth is out. His front tooth is actually on the canvas. Is that a tooth? His front tooth is on the canvas, which is what they're picking up. Oh, his nice. Tooth. He's lost his tooth. He doesn't seem to care. Oh, nice. Yeah. With a bit of luck. If he can keep doing what he's doing, he'll... Oh, oh lovely! 
That's a good line oh! on the left of the right. What a fight! What a shot again! What a shot! What a fight! Oh, and a oh! good kick back! Oh my God! What this a is fight. entertainment. This is a fight. What a fight! The man's got no tooth, and he's still coming back from these knees. He's throwing shots. You just want this fight to keep going. And Abdurrahman doesn't look like he's even bothered. He's, he's catching him again. He comes back. Oh, it's a big right hand. It's a massive right hand. It's a massive. He's hurt him. He's hurt him bad. And Freeman just keeps firing. Just keeps firing shots back. Last 10 seconds for him to get through. What a round, what a fight. Freeman needs to just hang on in there. Keep coming. And again, he comes back. What, oh a, Lord, fight. what a fight. Oh, my Lord. We've got teeth on this, the table. If this doesn't get fight of the night, I do not know what will. We've got a tooth on the table right next to us. And James Freeman is acting just like it's another day at the office. I tell you what, neither man deserves to win. Uh, lose. <laughs> and for me, tooth on the table or not, James Freeman's still winning it. Unbelievable work. I mean, as a boxing coach, I don't do kicking. But <laughs> I just got excited big time. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable. For anybody who knows their boxing, I'd go as far as saying this is the two rounds of Gatty and Ward. It is that good. It really is to be ringside next to it. It is that good. Absolute animals in there. The pair of them. Moab Durman. Looks absolutely unfazed, though. He looks unfazed. For me, I've got James Freeman Free Guard winning the fight, though. I've got James Free Guard winning this fight. I think I think Mo's going to put him out. In he comes. What a fight! Starts off exactly. Oh, it's a good left hook. Everything he's got. These two boys are seriously fit. For anybody who's as much as done a single round on a bag in the gym to know how hard it is, what a fight, what fitness these boys have got. It is unbelievable. Moab Dharman is taking it, he's taking it, but he looks like he can come back, and he does. And this he's throwing up and cuts. Unbelievable. James Freeman puts the knees in and a shot! Oh, what a shot! And he comes back again. He comes back again. Hooks to the body, kicks to the leg. How much more can he take? Knees to the head. He's looking to stop it. Oh, it's a big shot again, but he comes back. Comes back with knees. Knee. Oh, my word. Moab Dorman is, is made of iron. He is literally made of iron, this kid. To know what it takes to fight like this. I've never seen a fight like this. Unbelievable fitness, absolutely unbelievable. To keep taking these shots, keep throwing these shots and kicks, and he's got him this time. And it's a leg kick, and I do not know whether he went. He's back up, he's back up. James Freeman and I am looking for the finish, big kick again, and he's down. And he's going to stop this. Surely it's going to be over. It's over. James Freeman, what a fight. Oh, my Lord. Easily the best fight Abs of the night. Absolute war. Stunning. The pair of them, you could put that in any kind of category of MMA, UFC, kickboxing, K1, boxing, anything. Nah is two warriors just gone at it. Unbelievable. James Freeman's big two is sat right next to us, and he's just got the win. Now, if that's not worth losing the two for, I don't know what is. Tell you something now, if that ain't fight of the night, 
I will strip off naked and run down through the life centre remain empty. Dear God, I don't care if that was the worst fight of the night, make it fight of the night so that doesn't happen. <laughs> the only thing worse than that would, the only thing worse than that would be if you had an Arsenal shirt on and nothing underneath. What a fight. Unbelievable fight. Absolutely unbelievable. Everybody ringside talking about it. The whole place is talking about it. And Mo Abdurrahman is still sat on the stool. He finally gave way. He looked to be just... Shots were bouncing off him. And he just looked to be able to take them. And finally, just the legs that give way, the, the head, I think, was still there. And the body just said, no more. No mass, as Roberto Duran once said. And tell you what, James Freeguard, I keep saying Freeman, I really apologise for no, that. No, James, James He's going to be sore tomorrow morning. Yes. They're both going to be sore. James Freeguard, really, honestly, tip my hat to that man. What a warrior. Stunning fight. All right, here comes the one minute, 41 seconds. In the third round, as our referee, Trevor Chamberlain, calls a stop to this contest, Declaring your winner by TKO, James Fury Frago. What a fight. Congratulations, yeah. both men. Absolutely stunning fight. And I'm a boxing coach, you know. I shouldn't get that excited about K1. They're kicking. You know only girls kick, don't you? You've heard that before. I never say it in the gym, you know that. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll just. Uh, I'm just gonna go uh, find uh, Caro's bike and just uh, let him know what you've been saying about him. I said it to Jimmy. You mugged off Andy Manzolo uh, yeah. last time, and he got away with it. Yeah, I did. No, I got away with it because I told him to his face. We was. What was it? Because I tagged him. No, tagged you in it on Facebook. We was on Facetime. He was still in Southampton, but we was on the phone. Stunning fight. Absolutely stunning. I just can't see. We got Semtex Daily coming on. I just, but even hey, he, he's gonna have to bring, he's gonna have to he, up his level to compete with this. I don't, he's gonna have to come with, I don't know, like one of those people that hit the ground and bounce back up because that was unreal. Absolutely amazing. Well done, both lads.